the shades of Zeta Chevy 69. How bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. Destination unknown as we pullin' for some gas. This better have my money. Pay me what you want. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to bout number nine of the evening. This fight is proudly brought to you by Singer Beer. Five by three minute rounds, full tie rolls in the lightweight division. When the bell tolls, you're in charge in centering is Jeff. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, trained at a J Tie Boxing with an official weight of 59.8 kilograms, a fight record 32 fights, 23 wins. Five ending by way of knockout. Fighting out of Wellington, New Zealand. He is the king of the ring champion and the WMC world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Alexi Pet Seripolsis. And across the ring, his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner, trained by Israel Halpern. Out of the Stockade Training Center with an official weight of 59.6 kilograms. A fight record, 33 fights, 22 wins, two coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of the ACT, ladies and gentlemen, Josh Timebomb Turner. Not eat on go guard, man, okay? Not on the rope. Go down, don't judge, okay? I want to look, you am a good fight, okay? Good luck, man. We are into the uh, battle between Alexei Serapitos and Josh Tonner. Mark, how do you see it unfolding? I'll tell you what, uh, Josh is uh, really at his peak these days with uh, his trainer, Israel Helper, in his corner, training uh, out of the AIS Alexei as well in Canberra. Really well Josh prepared. But Alexei has been Red fighting uh, extensively, obviously, in China and traveling around a lot fighting some really class opponents. There's not a lot in this one. Tonner coming off a loss uh, on Warrior's Way uh, last November, so he's looking to redeem himself here. Seraposis, I think, uh, coming off a win, so he's going to be pretty confident. He's sharp, he's, he's young, and he's very hungry. And uh, yeah, a lot, I suppose, a bit younger than, uh, than Tonner. Tonner's got, uh, he's been around a long time, even though the, their record's the same. I think Alexi's amassed his fights in a shorter amount of time, so he's been a, he's been a lot more active. That, that could be a defining point. As again, he catches Tonner's kick and sweeps out the supporting leg. He's look, looking, uh, his scorecard's looking already very healthy. Both fighters looking very measured. Back. I like the react reaction time and fast reflexes of Alexi uh, seem to be telling the tale at this point. Tonna, nice body shot, straight, a straight, a body shot and straight shot to the body. Had his leg caught again. That's this time kept his vertical base. Tonna doubles up on the jab, looks for something. He needs to get that leg out and back a lot quicker. He's sort of propping the leg up. Seraposis is just. Uh, taking him down, or catching and taking him down almost at will. So Tonner needs to be just keeping the uh, the kicks probably either higher or lower. Maybe uh, stay away from the body a bit. So far, Tonner's been moving forward, but Alexi has him backing up. Alexi's, uh, geez, he's, he's looking quick. Do you think that uh, Tonner's going to fire up and start moving faster, Hammer? Yeah, Josh. Uh, Josh is uh, he's, he sort of works his way into the fights, if, if that makes sense. He'll find uh, he'll find this first round a little bit hard going, but I'm sure you'll he'll uh, come back stronger and uh, a little bit quicker in the second. Nice body shot there from uh, Tonner. The one-two from Alexis straight through the guard. He's got fast hands, even though the jab's like almost a flick. Doesn't really load the jab. He prefers to go for the speed on it like that. And they just 
just to get it through and uh, hit the target. It's got to be a, a really quick disruption technique and so on Connor's flow. Sorry. Sorry, I beg your pardon, Hannah. So having been in the ring, tell me, what does the jab do for you strategically? It's just a, a measure, distance, distance measuring. Um, also sets up your combination. Put the glove in the face. The opponent, the opponent's vision is uh, is taken out momentarily. Helps to uh, roll the low kicks down, and they get them through without being checked. Basically, your bread and butter setup technique. Seraposis. That's his round for sure. That first one. We are back into the action. There goes Tonna hitting the mat. Having a look at yeah, how it went down in the first round, and that was really the telling point and uh, what uh, put the scores solidly in the way of the Alexis way. Zeropos is just catching and countering. Apart from that, it was, it was fairly even, but yeah, the takedowns are going to score well for him. We are into round two of this battle between Alexis Seropos and Josh Tonner. He's throwing that left kick. Josh measuring the distance. Very quick and uh, an accurate. So Apostas. Uh, Josh is going to, I think, uh, want to pressure forward a lot more. Being at kicking range is probably not the best range for Tonner against his opponent. Closing him down. I'd like to see, the, see him test his clinch out a bit, test the strength, see who's, uh, who's got the goods in the clinch. It's been pretty much a standoff affair up to this point. Lexi starting to move forward now. Tonner backing up. Comes through with a nice body shot. One, two, clinch. Went for the knee. And Hammer, we haven't seen them clinch too much. It's uh, It's been pretty much kicks and punches all yeah, night. It's, uh, it's pretty much just been kickboxing. Yeah, exactly. Apart from the catch and takedowns, which is obviously uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the great weapon of, uh, of Thai boxing. Oh, nice jumping knee. Especially with regards to the uh, working off the round kicks, because it is a distance uh, uh, defensive move. It looks really great too. Watching the fighters uh, take the other one down, catching the kick, taking them down. It's a it's a real showcase defensive move. Connor starting to impose his will a little bit more. Yes, yeah, once you get on the inside, physically, I think Josh is probably going to be strong in the clinch, but he hasn't really tested that range out yet, opting rather to stay on the outside. And you'll see him there, one, two, knee, and then stepping back. Neither fighter engaging off the off the knees or the punching uh, with regards to clinching and knee. Have a look at uh, what transpires now as they really engage properly for the first time, knee for knee. Strong knees, seroposis. Kind of trying to turn in, but... Uh, with the side knee guard on, just shrugged off by Alexis Seroposis. One, two, three, Tonner. Nice combination from him. Alexis, Alexis it. Yeah, straight back. It's a, a real arm, battle, arm wrestle, this one. A big body shot there from Tonner. Yeah, Tonner doing a nice job to take the inside thigh off the hand combination as well. Starting to string together some quality stuff now. Just probably not enough of a nice turning elbow. And again, inside thigh, inside thigh. You can, you can probably bet that Alexis is going to keep coming forward. So Tonda should just inch back and then fire forward. It's, uh, it's a much better second round. Much better second round for Josh Tonda. And it's evened up a little, a little bit this one now. back to the replay here there's a big knee there from Tonner putting together some good combinations getting into the body of uh, of Alexi a few times going for some body shots and uh, being a bit more aggressive he's got a great jumping knee Tonner too I to try, try and see him use a little bit more bag big knee to the body and goes the knee
Big body shot there feeling. from Alex. Kind of, yeah. One, two into the body and then the inside thigh. Good transition of angle and technique and level change as well. Let's go behind these two fighters, Melbourne. Round number three. This is the third round of this uh, Muay Thai battle between these two finely skilled warriors here at Road to Rebellion 5. Connor Speed seems to be moving a little bit faster than before. Yeah, right? he's picking up the pace. He's warm, as I said, a bit of a slow starter, but uh, he's warmed right up and he's, he's into it now. Knee for knee goes. Good vertical base. Nice turn. Almost had the takedown there, Alexi. Again, they lock down. Nice body lock, Tonner. Alexi shuts down the clinching gauge. Goes for the head kick that does Tonner. Doesn't quite connect. One, two, three. He's keeping busy now, Josh Tonner, doing well. Alexi uh, still pushes forward and uh, has great reaction time, great technique. Lost his vertical base there a little, regained his, ba his balance. And now it's getting interesting into the into the clinch, Nicholas. That's what I was uh, talking about before, mate. Um, in the clinch, it's sort of, it's sort of leveled out now. That, They've, uh, they've tested all ranges, and I think Ton has found that he's uh, able to hold his own in the clinch, working well on the outside. Beautiful step through knee, one, two, step through. Ton now peeking it back, push kick to the face from Alexi. He's gone hunting now. He knows that Ton is slowly starting to inch forward, and he's trying to he's trying to pull him up a bit. Nice uppercut into a body kick from Ton. I think those uh, body shots that Tonner's been landing has really slowed Alexi down a little bit. Yeah, he's got some good uh, he's, he's got some good roll off the shoulder and uh, puts it through nicely, that body shot, Tonner. And rolling the shoulder hammer, what does that actually mean and what does it do? It's just generating power. He generates a lot of power through his core, through his body, and uh, turns a punch in nicely into the body. Once again, barriers up, looks for uh, the counter right. Oh, Alexa getting the leg up nice and high, push kick up high. One, two, body into the knee. They slip into the clinch now, knee for knee. Into the belly it goes. Light knees, but nevertheless scoring. Alexia will look to get on the inside and spin, as will Tonner. Nice short elbow on the inside from Alexi. Knee for knee they go again. Nice, that's a, a good takedown off the clinch from Tonner. And at that, I think he's, uh, he's tested out his, his range now. He's well equipped in the in the clinch range. Kicking, I'd say I might just give it to uh, Alexi, the kicking uh, exchanges going his way. Boxing, I'd say uh, Tonner. Oh, as Alexi just gets a turn takedown, just to end round three. What a great battle, what a war this one is. Fantastic stuff. We go to the replay here. Nice leg kick from Tonna. Alexi returns, and bang. Both fighters are really wanting the win here, both very measured. Connor going for a great uppercut, follows up with a body kick. There it is again, Connor going for the body of Alexi. Don't forget we do it all again. Rebellion returns, May 13. Back in the clinch. Both fighters trying to dominate. Beautiful takedown there. Round four. We are into round four of this battle between these two massive, uh, massively equipped fighters and uh, big kicks being traded here. Tony goes for the sweep. He's been successful in the last round a few times. Alexi just manages to uh, keep on his feet. Tonner now starting to push forward. He's, uh, he's starting to just level it up a bit. Nick is uh, he's, he's getting his uh, 
his power base through nice and strong. And uh, I think he's starting to, to slowly chip away at the armour of Alexi. Nice, nice chopping takedown of the supporting leg. Certainly the sound of the uh, punches and kicks landing has increased in this round already. Yeah, the power's are right up there now. And the, the, uh, the boys are going for gold. No title on the line, but uh, certainly bragging rights. Two of the best, obviously. Tonna, one of the uh, the better ones. And certainly in this weight division in uh, all of Australia. In turn, Alexi, representing New Zealand proudly. And they're one of their hot prospects at the moment also. Tonna goes to the body again. Beautiful uppercut. Oh, a push kick to the face from Alexi. Seraposa has uh, got a good range of technique. He shows a lot of skills in a lot of different areas, this young fella, and uh, certainly a crowd pleaser when he fights. Both fighters being very technical and very uh, tactical this evening here at Road to Rebellion 5. So I like the lightweights. They, they, they've just got such a great work rate, and they're really dynamic to watch, you know. Obviously, heavyweights and the bigger fighters, everyone likes to watch the, the big bangers uh, throw down. But uh, for me, I, I like the uh, the lightweights, the skill and speed is, uh, is always entertaining, guaranteed. Nice balk back counter right hand. Tonna stepped through with a knee. Alexi tries for the push kick, closes range into the body. He goes. So who do you have at the moment, Hammer? You know, it's pretty even. Maybe um, maybe just Alexi, but it's, uh, it's going to depend on what angle and where the judges are sitting and what they're seeing and what they're scoring predominantly. I'd say uh, there's, a, there's an argument for both. Alexi's put some good scores on the on the card, but uh, Tonna certainly pushed forward and they've shown, shown a lot of aggression. So he's, he's certainly not uh, he's not he's not uh, hesitating in walking forward now as he did in the first round. First round probably uh, wasn't his round, but he's certainly come back well from there. Oh, oh. nice snappy lead hand, and that that left hand or lead hand of Alexi Seraposis is uh, is deadly. It's fast, it's accurate, it's hitting the target almost every time. That is in of round number four. A good knee exchange to end round number four. There's one to go. And uh, the fight is certainly there for the taking for both of these men. Fifth round is certainly going to be interesting. Featuring the Lion Fight four-man qualifier. Something you don't want to miss. Got to the Brady Town Hotel. For tickets and information, go to warriorsway.com. And here we go to the replay. Nice body kick there from uh, Lexi. Tonna chasing the headshot. Gets the takedown. Yeah, gets the takedown. And that's, that's really going to build the confidence of Tonna. All of these little uh, victories he's having during this battle. You know, as I said, you know, this is a great matchup on Rebellion. The side's done a good work, good job to bring in uh, Josh Tonner from Canberra, the ACT. And, uh, Alexi, obviously, from Auckland, New Zealand. And here we are, Road to Rebellion 5. I'm with the legend, Mark Hammer-Cassadini. Mark, what can you tell me? I, I'm really enjoying all the fights tonight. I mean, for a road to rebellion, Nick, Sai's done a fantastic job. Every fight is, is worthy of being, uh, you know, on his main cards. This fight in particular, with these two fighters, is, as I said, Australia, New Zealand, two of the best lightweights we're seeing. It's going down to the fifth round, and the fight's certainly there for the taking. Maybe just Alexi slightly edging ahead. But Tonna is always renowned for being a, a strong finisher. What do you think Tonna has to do to take away the win tonight? I think I think he's just got to keep that pressure. And definitely in the clinch, he's, uh, he's holding his own as well. He's, he's powerfully built, and I think he needs to execute that a little bit more in the clinch. We're going to head back in for the fifth and final round. Melbourne, let's make some noise. This is the fifth and final round. Let's see how this one goes, Nick. Uh, it's going to come down to who wants it more, really, in this fifth round. Nice one-two body rip, Tonna, on the outside. Of course, Tonna's fought, you know, predominantly in the early stages of, career, of his career. A lot of K1, so obviously kickboxing K1 style, but adapted beautifully now to the, to the full Thai uh, rules 
um, and, you know, puts it together well on the outside and on the inside. Alexi, you know, all tie fighting, but uh, holds himself well, especially that lead jab. And he's got that beautiful fast round kick off the rear as well. So he's, uh, he's certainly done the hard work on the pads. Fighters are being moved back into the middle of the ring after a clinch. Nice, nice leather being thrown by Tonna. Just off on the range there a little bit. Both fighters sort of moving out of range, but now Tonna chops low, goes high. Good level changing as well. Alexi using the push kick barrier technique, as does Tonna. Oh, push kick to the face again. Clubbing overhand right. One, two, rip. Up high, down low, mixing it up. Inside thigh. Probing with that lead hand again, Alexi. Tonna locks in. The jostle up, almost gets a takedown into the knee. He goes, Tonna. As I said, I'd like to see him just, just hang in that clinch a little bit more, because... You know, he's shown uh, good work, flashes of uh, some good results in that clinch for him, Tonna. Changing angles into the body, he goes off the lead leg. It really is a, you know, a physical game of chess, this one. Move for move, shot for shot. Both, uh, both of these athletes are doing a sensational job. One, two, three, four, into the rip, up high, misses with the high kick, Tonna. Step through knee, pushing the pace, keeping the pressure on is Josh Tonna. Knees to the body from Tonna now. Alexi's trying to spin him around, get him to the ground, but uh, Tonna's not having any of it. Really nailing those knees into the body. Both fighters wanting to come away with the win. We're into the few final seconds, Hammer, and there is a takedown to Tonna. Alexis gets it. Alexi gets a takedown there on Tonna. One, two, three, up high. And they're really spent all their pennies, these guys. You can see they're just fighting on instinct now. No fuel left in the tank. Alexi's arms are coming down. No defense. Oh, what a move. A little bit of fuel left there in the tank of Donna. <laughs> Trying for something dynamic in the last round. Something for the crowd, really. Gets a takedown. And almost that will seal the deal, I'd say, for Alexi. That is the end of the battle, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Alexi Seraposis has uh, some good takedowns early. Finished with some good takedowns in the end. Josh Tonner in the middle did well. So, uh, yeah, it's it was a, a good arm wrestle, this one. Something special. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of full time rules, we have gone to the judges' scorecards. Your three judges scored the contest 49 48, 49 48, 50 46, declaring your winner via unanimous points decision. Red corner, Josh Timebomb Turner! Well, there you have it, folks. The time bomb, Josh Turner with a solid work rate in the middle of the bout. It was Alexis Seraposis early, and then at the end, but Tonna doing the solid work all the way through the guts of the fight. Gets the hardware. Congratulations to the Aussie, the boy from Canberra. Josh Tonna walks away a winner.